let me ask you this. Do you believe that you can overcome depression? Do you think it's possible? Or do you think that this is just how life will always be for you? Welcome to our weekly women's wellness circle here inside Women on the Rise Facebook community. Today's circle is all about this one thing, this one essential thing, belief, without which transforming depression can feel impossible. I'm Haley Reese, and I am a women's empowerment coach and mental health mentor who helps women transform depression now. And if you're not yet believing that it's possible for you to overcome depression, I get it because I've been there. For those of you who don't know this part about my story yet, for years growing up, I while I was overwhelmed with chronic depression and anxiety, I held a belief that I was just born this way. I had this story playing in my mind and in my life and reality that I was just born sad. Some people in the world were just born sad and others were born happy. And I believed that I was just born unhappy and that's how my life was going to be. For so many years, I was just struggling to accept or to understand why this was my identity, why it felt so hard to do the things that seemed to come so easily to other people, why it felt like just getting through a day could sometimes seem like I was just trying to survive and do anything I could to get to the end of the day so I could go back to bed. So what I know now, now that I have overcome and transformed my own depression, and now that I've helped hundreds of clients to do the same for themselves, is that I've learned time and time again how essential our belief is. Have you heard the quote, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Well, this is true of transforming depression too. I know that those many, many years where I believed that I was just born that way, where I thought I was stuck feeling that way and there was no way out, we were probably the hardest years because I was just burdened by hopelessness. I didn't see any solutions to my problem. I, that's definitely the time that I was dealing with the most feelings and thoughts of suicide and where I was contemplating it the most because I just didn't think that it was possible for me to feel differently, for me to really be happy, for that to be my life. And I'm so grateful every single day for the moment or moments that led up to me shifting that belief, the moments that allowed me to realize that that story was just that. It was just a story. It was just this identity that I had put on like a costume thinking that it's it was my skin, that it fit me, that this was how things were going to be, how I always had to live until I learned that I could take it off, that I could change that story. Because when you don't believe that it's possible for you to overcome depression, your efforts to make any changes, your efforts to take action, your efforts to find solutions tend to feel pretty futile because every day you go to bed thinking, well, I can't really change this. Guess everything I just did didn't really work or it wasn't really worth it or why even bother? Can you relate to some of those feelings? You don't notice the progress that you're actually making when your belief is that it's not possible. You keep focusing on what's the same. You keep focusing on how nothing is changing. You keep focusing on how bad you feel day after day. And the result of that is that, well, nothing changes, or at least that's how it feels. And your feelings, your emotions tend to feel the same. 
the good news is that you and everyone watching this, every single one of you holds the power inside yourself to change your beliefs. Because really a belief is when you boil it down, a belief is just a thought repeated over and over and over and over and over again until it seemingly becomes the truth until it seems to be like this rule you have for how you're living your life. So that's the good news. And now let's chat about how you can actually make a shift. So there are many, many, many ways that you can change your beliefs. Um, and I could probably create like an entire course just on that. But for the sake of today and giving you some really like potent, powerful information that you can take forward with you and apply today, I'm going to just share with you three of the ways that you can change your beliefs, starting with, of course, you know, if you do hold the belief right now that you can't overcome depression, that you can't transform depression, these three practices or ways are things that you could do to shift that belief into believing that you can do this, that it is possible for you. So the first way that you can start changing your beliefs is repetition. Just like a belief becomes a belief because it's a thought repeated over and over, we can like reverse engineer that and use a new, more empowering thought that we repeat to ourselves over and over and over until it really sinks in, until it really takes hold and it becomes a new belief system for us. Carving a new neuro pathway and sort of patting the old one in with I like to think of it as this like deep canal that you're like filling in with dirt when you're carving out a new belief in its place. So repetition is one way and it can be effective. Um, the challenge with repetition tends to be if you don't believe it, repetition can take a long time. <laughs> it can get really boring. Um, I personally don't love being bored. Um, and Sometimes there's more at play that can make rep just simply repeating your new belief, your new thought, much more challenging for it to fully take hold if there's other crap kind of in the way preventing you from like locking that one in. So while this can definitely work, um, if you're finding that the feeling around your belief isn't shifting at all, I encourage you to try one of these other two methods. And so the second method that I'm gonna share is gathering evidence. So what I mean by that is once you have decided on your new belief, and that's a key too, is that you can decide to believe something new. I have changed some really big things in my life, some really big beliefs and some really real problems in my life simply by, I say simply, um, but really simply by just deciding I wanted something different. And that is really the key with the repetition, with all three of these ways. It's like you have to decide for yourself that this is going to work. You have to decide and choose this new belief. And that power of decision um, can just, I mean, it goes so far like in, in making this real for you. So once you have decided what your new belief is, you can gather evidence to support this new belief. This is extremely effective because your mind can be pretty logical and it likes to look for proof. And I would imagine your mind has done a really darn good job of finding a ton of evidence to support your limiting belief of this isn't possible for me. I can't overcome depression. I can't transform depression. Like that's just not going to happen for me. You have probably been looking for that evidence for years, maybe, maybe not years, maybe even just months and found a whole bunch of evidence to support that mostly by looking at what's staying the same and not what's changing is my guess. Um, so because we have this massive mountain of evidence supporting that limiting belief, 
we now have to find a even bigger mountain of evidence, or at least like a heavier, heftier mountain of evidence to support our new belief that it is possible for you to overcome depression. It is possible for you trans to transform depression. It is possible for you to live the life of happiness and joy that you deeply desire. And I highly recommend keeping a list of this evidence, noticing anytime you feel happy, anytime you feel a shift, anytime you're experiencing joy, any evidence that you can change this belief, like whatever evidence you can find will support that new belief and really help to anchor it in and appease our often logical minds that are just searching for that evidence and searching for that proof and can help overcome that old mountain of, of evidence around that limiting belief too. And so those are two really amazing ways that you can just do all on your own. Um, like I said, you know, they can feel a little bit like crunchier and slower, which is why I want to share this third way with you. Also because this third way I'm about to share is really what was the turning point for me personally, why I do what I do now and why I recommend it because it's in my experience been one of the most potent ways. Um, and, and all, and the reason being is that we can do these things for ourselves, And most of the time we're so entrenched, especially when we're struggling with depression, we're just so entrenched and our thought patterns, in our stories, in our one perspective and one view of the world, that it can be really like extra challenging, more challenging than it needs to be to shift our beliefs, to see new perspectives, to find new evidence, to do that repetition consistently and with enough energy to really create that shift. So the third way that you can change your beliefs is by working with a mindset coach, getting the support of a mindset coach to really serve as that external reflection for you to help you see perspectives that you're not seeing, to really help you rewrite things and stand and be that proof of the evidence that your mind is searching for. I personally, recommend NLP, not only because I'm an NLP master practitioner, but because NLP is the thing. Oh, and NLP, by the way, stands for neuro linguistic programming, which is such a mouthful. Um, but NLP honestly is the thing to me that I had searched for, for the first five years of my own personal development journey. When I first learned about the power of our minds, which was pretty much like the opening to my own spiritual awakening and my own like journey of transforming my depression, when I learned about mindset and the power that we have over our thoughts, I was fascinated. And I started learning all these different modalities, all these different like healing techniques, all these different mindset techniques. And while I found a lot of them to be effective, I also found a lot of them to take way more time, way more brain power, way more energy, um, and way more like hard work and commit and like dedic deep daily dedication than I was willing to, not willing, but then I desired to be doing. I wanted something that was quick and potent and powerful and most of all, effective. Something that really worked, but was more playful, more easy and took less time. And eventually my journey to find this thing led me to neuro-linguistic programming. And that's why I became a master practitioner in it. Um, but that's, I mean, that's really why I recommend this. And the other reason being is like, when you get that customized support, you can get more quickly into the core of what that belief is for you deep down into like, okay, what's the belief behind the belief behind the belief. And when you can reach that core belief and pull out that thread, it often shifts everything above it. 
Um, so that's why the third way that I recommend changing your beliefs is to get personalized, customized mindset support from a coach, from a healer. Um, and like I said, the modality I personally recommend is NLP because it's been the most effective for me personally. It is the modality that I use to overcome my chronic anxiety, literally using a five minute technique. If you haven't seen that video, um, I'll try to link it in the comments here, but like this has been so powerful for me and it's why I went on to train in it because I was just like, wow, I need to be using this with my clients. So the, the whole point is that no matter where you are right now in your journey, no matter what resources you have at your fingertips, no matter what you have believed in the past, no matter what your story about your life has been, you, my dear, hold the power within yourself to change your beliefs. And when you can change your belief around your ability and your possibility of overcoming depression to one of empowerment, to one of knowing that you can, you will make leaps and bounds in your journey and your progress towards that goal of overcoming it, towards that goal of creating a life of happiness and ease and joy and relaxation that you desire. I honestly have no doubt that this is within you. And even if you don't believe that yet, I am here taking a stand for you, holding this vision for you, knowing in every cell of my body that it is possible for you. I have seen it time and time and time again with clients, how potent shifting our beliefs is and how possible it is for every single one of you. And I really wanted to share this today because I was on the phone with a client earlier and I had read her intake questions before hopping on the phone. And the thing that stood out to me the most was that she said, I don't believe anything can work for me. And this woman is 20 years old and it just hit me so deeply. Like I honestly had another topic planned <laughs> for today, which we'll come back to another time, but it hit me so deeply. I was like, oh, this is what I need to talk about today. Because if you don't have that belief that you can create the life that you desire, that you can have the happiness that you desire, then chances are you're not going to get it, or at least not easily, or at least not intentionally or consciously. And I have a hunch that if you're in this group, you're a conscious woman who is intentionally working to better herself, better her life, to rise above her challenges and her circumstances to have what she deeply desires. And if you don't think that it's possible for you, it's going to make it a hell of a lot harder. And I don't want it to be hard on you. I had a conversation with this client today and I reflected this back to her. I let her know, Hey, I saw, you know, this in your intake questionnaire. I also heard you share this with me over the phone today that you just don't think that this is possible. And the other thing she said is that, She's like, oh, I know that this is like a few months long, but I honestly think I'm going to have to go through this program like five times for it to really work for me. I don't think that it's possible for me to make that big of a shift only within these few months time. And I asked her, I was like, would you be willing to see a different perspective? Would you be willing to open up to a different possibility to the possibility that maybe just maybe it's possible for you to, to create this change that you seek in a short amount of time, in the few months that we have together right now, in this one go through of the program. Because let me tell you, I have had hundreds of clients go through this program and see shocking results, like shockingly amazing, I should say, <laughs> shockingly amazing results in the time that we have together. I'm curious, would you be willing to just open up to that possibility even a little bit and just be curious if this might happen for you? Because I would imagine that you haven't tried this exact thing before. And she said, yeah, you're right. I know that I have been really stubborn about this. I know that I haven't believed that it's possible for me to feel differently because I've lived with it for so long. 
And everything she said just spoke to me because I was literally there when I was 22, 20 also. And when I was, I think I was about 23 when I learned about the power of the mind, like in a way that really sunk in for me. And that really took hold in a way that I could start using that knowledge and that wisdom. And that's when I started changing my beliefs and when my whole reality started changing. So if you're in the place where my client today from today was, I invite you to just be willing, open up even just one more percent to the possibility that you too can make this change for yourself, that it is possible for you to transform depression in a shorter time than you can possibly imagine right now. And I know that that is possible for you and I will hold that vision for you and take this stand for you until you believe it just as much as I do. Armed with this belief that it's possible for you, you will no longer hold yourself back. And as I said, you'll just be able to take leaps and bounds in your journey towards overcoming depression for good. So if you got value from this video today, from our circle today, I wonder if you know any friends who could benefit from this information. And if you do, just send her a PM right now and say, hey, I was watching this video and I thought of you. I'm in this Facebook group that I think you would love. Here's the link and just share the link with her. And you can make it personal by sharing with her exactly what made you think of her too. I'm sure that, you know, especially at this time of year, that can be really challenging for many people that she would just feel all warm and fuzzy to know that you have her back and that you're thinking of her even the day on Christmas Eve Eve as friends would say <laughs> I'm a huge friends fan if you didn't know um, and I have a really special offer for you today if you're wanting that to go with that number three way of getting personalized customized support from a mindset coach I want to invite you to a free breakthrough to happiness session with me. If you desire support to go from, I can't do this, or this isn't possible for me, to I know, I know, I know, I know I can overcome depression. I got this. Then I've opened up a few spots on my calendar for the first week of January for these free happiness breakthrough sessions. These are one-on-one -on -one sessions for you and I to deep dive into that belief that is holding you back. From this free session, you will walk away with having identified the most prominent belief that is keeping you stuck in depression and you'll walk away with a custom plan of action steps that you can take and start implementing right away following our call. So again, these are completely free to you and it's my way of just giving you that support and this e like easy next step for taking to get that customized one-on-one -on -one support to break through this belief and break through into that happiness that you so deeply desire and most of all that you really deserve. So I will drop the link in the comments and put it up in the top of the video as well. Be sure to sign up right away because there are very limited spots in the beginning of January with like post holiday things and just already those spots are already starting to fill up from some other things. So I would love to have you there if you're ready for this breakthrough yourself, if you're ready to identify that core belief that's holding you back and create a plan of action for how to shift it, how to change it and things that you can implement right away following our call. So thank you so much for being here again today. If you have any questions about what we chatted about, feel free to drop in, in the comments. And Merry Christmas Eve, Eve, if you celebrate Christmas or happy holidays with whatever other holidays you're celebrating this season, I am sending you so much love from my heart to yours and wishing you 
a wonderful holiday season filled with love and friends and family and joy and of course lots of tasty yummy food because that's my favorite holiday thing <laughs> probably food's like my favorite thing of all the things so anyway i hope you have a wonderful week celebrating whatever that in whatever way that means to you and i will see you back here next not this wednesday on the 25th but the following wednesday whatever day that is for our weekly women's wellness circle at 5 p.m pacific standard 8 p.m. Eastern, and I can't wait to see you then. Wishing you a very happy new year, happy Christmas, and all the other happy holidays at this time of year. I love you. Mwah.